Hi everyone, welcome back to System DLL Tech. In today's video, let's look at how to fix missing vcomp100.dll error. For the first method, you need to manually download the missing DLL file and place it in the appropriate folders. Now, before you do that, make sure you check the OS version of your PC. To do that, click on the search area of the taskbar and type settings. Click on the first result. Make sure system is selected here and scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on about. Next to system type, you'll be able to find this information. Close this window. Next, open your browser and go to this link. Now scroll down until you reach the download section. Now if you have a 64-bit OS, you need to download one 32-bit and one 64-bit version of DLL files. And if you have a 32-bit OS, you need to download just one 32-bit DLL file. Click on download to proceed. Once the download is complete, you need to extract the contents of the zip file. Next open uh, C folder, then Windows folder, now scroll down until you find System32 folder and Syswav64 folder. Copy the 32-bit file, right click on Syswav64 folder and paste the contents. Similarly copy the 64-bit file, right click on System32 folder and select paste. Now once this is done, you can restart your application and see if the DLL error is fixed now. For the next method, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 package. Now to do this, open your browser and go to this link. Select the language from the drop down and click on download. Check vc readist underscore x86 and underscore x64 click on next download both the files once that is done you need to now install each exe file separately Just accept to the terms, click on finish. Similarly open the next file, click on install. Now once that is done, now you can again try to restart your PC and then launch the application or game again to see if the DLL error is fixed. However, if the DLL error is still not fixed, then you might need to Download the application again from the original source or the game from the respective website and then reinstall it to see if the DLL error is getting fixed. So that's it for this video. I'm sure the method shared in this video would have helped you to fix the missing vcom100.dll error. Until next video, thank you and bye bye.